welcome back to my channel and today we're gonna do another makeup first impression review on this Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer natural skin perfector if I'm not mistaken I think this is their new formula and new packaging and so I'm gonna try their new tinted moisturizer but before I start doing the application if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel please do subscribe and please don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you'll get notified whenever I make videos like this and right. so this is what it looks like hold on Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer natural skin perfector SPF 30 UVB UVA PA plus 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 I'm in the shade 1W1 porcelain and it has 50 milliliter and the applicator not really like the applicator but it's a tube and it looks like wait, hold on. and it looks like this so before I start applying it on my face I'm just gonna read the product information and the details very quickly Laura Mercier's skin perfecting secret to a flawless dewy no makeup makeup look this multitasking blend of skincare and makeup blurs imperfections with a sheer hint of coverage. This lightweight formula helps skin retain moisture while immediately delivering intense hydration that lasts 24 hours. Broad spectrum UVB, UVA, SPF 30 sunscreen combined with vitamin C and E complex helps protect against damaging environmental aggressors. It also says here that it's perfect for all skin types. Okay. And as usual, I'm gonna apply it on this side of my face first so that I can give you guys a bit of comparison with the product and without the product. Not runny, not liquidy, like a solid paste. Look. <laughs> So wait, I'm just gonna use my fingertips. I'm already using my fingertips. Because <laughs> this is a moisturizer, although tinted, but still, it's a moisturizer, so anyway. So this is like first application, still have here, but I'm just gonna give you guys a quick comparison. First, like first layer or first application. So I'm gonna try to build it up and let's see what it looks like. So this is with the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer and this is without the Tinted Moisturizer. And actually, there's no difference aside from the fact that it has like a dewy finish. It really does have a dewy finish but other than that as to coverage it doesn't really give me that much coverage and now I'm gonna go ahead and apply the product on this side of my face so this is what it looks like on my face like whole face including like a bit of neck, a bit of the neck area, so. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like on a natural light because we all know that in real life can be a bit tricky. So, wait a minute. So this is what it looks like natural light. Oh. So this is what it looks like on a natural light. And as you can see, So since this is just a first impression review, I can't give you guys my full thoughts on this product yet because I really want to use this for like weeks or even months before I give you guys my full honest review whether I recommend it or not or whether it's a good product or not. But initially, like right now, all I can say is that Yes, it gives me that, you know, dewy finish. Like, like my face is very healthy, like full of vitamins. You know, see the dewy finish here. See that? It's like my face is flawless, like that. 
And as to coverage, no, it doesn't give you that much coverage. Good. I mean, I tried to build it up, but still it doesn't... Wait, still you can see some blemishes here, here, and even here. But of course, it's just a tinted moisturizer. And based on the product description, it doesn't say that it will give you, you know, so much coverage. So right now, that's all I can say. So you guys better wait for my full review on this one. And maybe I'll do a comparison between this and the NARS Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. So that's it, guys. I'm going to end my vlog here. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment below. And I'd be happy to answer and read them all. And I'll see you on my next vlog. Bye!